Right, let's get out of here to a few places you may know by name or may have never considered visiting here in central New York. Insight leaves behind government chambers and political points of view to uncover a few of the hidden gems of our region. We're road tripping next on Insight. Insight is made possible through the support of our members. Now to the east of that hillside, there's plenty happening in Utica. All masterful arts lead to the Munson William Proctor Arts Institute. Nearly 25,000 works of art make up that museum's collection. The heart of this institution is its 19th century works of contemporary fine arts and sculptures. This summer, Munson Williams Proctor is showing off its golden age of European painting. It highlights some of the best works from the 17th and 18th centuries, from Thomas Cole's The Voyage of Life to Picasso. This attractive exhibition is sure to attract modern and classic art goers alike. Munson Williams Proctor was founded in 1919, chartered in 1919, and opened in 1936. And we have that long name, but it's three generations of the same family. And the idea was that family wanted to leave something to, behind for their community. And they truly believed in the importance of art for both education, enlightenment, and entertainment. Philip De Johnson Design Building, which opened in 1960, we house both our permanent collection and our changing exhibitions. One of the things that the Museum of Art features is great summer exhibitions, so a time when people have, are relaxed and have more uh, opportunities to come and visit the museum. So this summer we're featuring the exhibition The Golden Age of European Painting, which is 17th and 18th century European artworks. Well, I'm here with the Wednesday Morning Club to see this fantastic exhibit, The Golden Age of European Painting, one of many of the numerous pleasures that I've had coming to Munson probably since the 60s. I was sharing an apartment with two people who had studied fine art. So they wanted to take a class, so I joined them. They quit, <laughs> but I stayed, <laughs> and I've been coming ever since. So in the golden age of European painting, one of the things that we see are depictions of everyday life. And in this piece from 1659, we see three maids in a kitchen doing household laundry. And not only is it beautifully painted and rich in detail, and we see, therefore, aspects of everyday life from the mussels um, on the floor, the mussel shells, the tipped over pitcher, and the, even the cracks in the uh, tile of the floor. So it gives us insight into the roles of women, um, how an interior would have been decorated through its great attention to detail. And then also we can think about the symbolism of it. What did those muscle shells represent? Um, why did the artist choose to depict the various aspects that he did? I have been here before and it's a wonderful place for seeing all kinds of artwork from modern to this is an especially great exhibit of European painting from 1500s and up to the 1800s and it just offers a wealth of culture and beautiful works for everyone in central New York. We looked at the painting of the maids in the kitchen and looked at depictions of everyday life. Um, here is a painting called uh, The Dice Players and so here's a different side of everyday life, perhaps a little bit more senior side where we have soldiers who are casting their lots. Um, the painting is so dramatic, you can see the light coming in from the side, influenced by the artist uh, Caravaggio in its dramatic lighting. Almost life-size and so engaging. We can look at this gentleman on the far left uh, side of the canvas who's staring right at the viewer and inviting us to participate in the action. I was just a child. I grew up outside of Chicago, but we would come back for family in this area. And I remember coming in here, it does, didn't look like this the way I remember it, but it, it just engulfed you with the art and the school, and I knew some kids in ballet, and uh, there's so much that's going on here every day. There's a new program or a, a concert or a movie or um, there's children's uh, classes, and uh, I knew some kids that were in the classes here. so. 
It's, it's always been a special place for me. Utica is a diverse community and we speak dozens and dozens of languages and art is a uniform language, one that we can all relate to. I mean, even if it is a European old master or a modern and contemporary piece, art is something that moves us emotionally. We find it visually and aesthetically appealing, but it also um, appeals to our emotions and it's something that represents all of humanity. Art is a way of life and it's, um, it's something that you can pursue even if you're infirmed and in bed.